Good morning, good people. I'm going outside to clean my car off. And my mama says she coming too to record my shenanigans. I have on a pair of leggings, two pairs of sweatpants, socks, my Ugg boots, um, a shirt, a cardigan, a sweatshirt on top of that, my jacket. And I made I made this this scarf right here. I made this. This is mine. Mm -hmm. But do you hear my mom and she forgot about that my sweater that I, I mean my scarf that I made. I made this Tunisia crochet. That was me. Um, but yeah, I'm about to go clean my car off. So y'all outside. What it looks like out here. It's not as much snow as I thought, but it's a decent amount. It looks pretty, right? Y'all, Coco is clean for the most part. I'm just going to shovel this out of her tires. And uh, take my ass back in the house, eat some breakfast. I am sitting in the car. Um... The snow looks so pretty. I um, cleaned the car off. I moved it a little bit just to, um, you know, move it, shovel it around the tires. And now I'm going to go back in the house in a minute. Um, I was talking to my neighbor and um, it kind of dawned on me how long we've known each other and like I've watched her grow up and turn into this woman <laughs> that you know is working and whatever and we were having some conversations about things and it kind of made me realize like I guess I I wish I had someone in my life when I was her age that was like just a little bit older than me not I had mentors that were a lot older than I was um that I related to but not the way I would have related to someone that was just like a snap older than me if that makes sense um and I'm just glad that like I can be here for her like she has me if she needs me you know so it was good talking to her I just can't believe like my baby is grown <laughs> there used to be a time when she would like when she was little she would cry whenever I left her <laughs> my baby but <sighs> now it's time for me to go back in the house um find shower find something to eat and do some work that's the plan. Fact of the day. A waffle ain't nothing but a pancake without the little blocks in it. I think we all want to live the life that Gunna lives because comfort to both, okay? Oh, stretch it out, booba. Oh. Yeah, tell the people what you did to me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do it because I couldn't do it properly. Well, tell them what you was trying to do to me. <laughs> I meant to tell her to bring the robot in here because... I've been coughing a little more than I like this morning. And I was getting ready to text her because I heard her in the kitchen and I looked up and she was walking in her room. So I said, what happened to the robot? <laughs> and she was like, huh? I said, I thought I told you to get me. I, I couldn't get past that. I got tickled. You you didn't tell me. And I just bust out laughing. I couldn't even tell the lie. I tried. You played too much. <sighs> Uncle Barry, a.k.a. Barack Obama, just released his 2020 favorites um, books, that is, books. And I know that I'm in the middle of reading Freshwater, but the first few chapters of that is difficult to read, so <laughs> I'm enjoying it, but it is making me make that emoji face with the squiggly mouth. Um, But this, something I've been meaning to read, was on his list. With a bunch of other books that I do have, some of which I have read. Um, but there are a few that I have not read. And this is only 211 pages, so I picked this up. This is The Frantic Reading Life of Shelby. <laughs> because I was like, oh, since Freshwater is giving me a battle. Excuse me. I'm going to read this. So, 
if you saw his list, is there anything on there that you guys want to read? Or have you read some of it already? If you guys are part of the book club, we read Deacon King Kong. Um, and I read Luster. That's on the list as well. I didn't really enjoy that. So it's kind of making me want to reread it to see. What did Uncle Barry see that I didn't? Um, and yeah, most of the other stuff I'm just going to go purchase. <laughs> Not right now. Maybe next week I'll treat myself to a trip to the bookstore. But I was excited to see the list. Quotes that I like so far. I need now to make sense of our history to understand the tragic course upon which my mother's life was set and the way my life my own life has been shaped by that legacy baby girl that one that touched me and then even then I felt as though I were watching someone else a young woman on the cusp of her life adulthood and bereavement gripping her at, at once the young woman I'd become walking out of that apartment hours later was not the one, not the same one who went into it. It's as if she's still there, that girl I was, behind the closed door, locked in the footage where it ends. Often I have seen that doorway in my dreams, only now is it a threshold I can cross. Let me tell you something, your past will hold on to you if you let it, don't let it do that to you. Kick that bitch off however you can, however you can, you, you, you let it go. Because I was trapped <laughs> in my grandmother's apartment for a very long time. Just there there was a whole bit of part of me that was right back there. And I had to go get her. Because we had things to do. We had a life to live. But that was, those were powerful. Alright guys, I guess I should have told y'all what that book was about. But remind me tomorrow. I'll tell y'all tomorrow what the book is about. And the quotes will make sense later. <sighs> I'm going to take the dog outside and then I'm going to come in the house and eat, read some more and relax. So this is where I say goodbye. Yes, I have on a sweatshirt and a sweater and a scarf and a whole bunch of layers. You want to know why? Because it's cold outside. Okay. So if nobody has told you today, I love you. Mom, yeah. say bye. Bye. Bye guys.